Hey everybody, this is Jen. Okay, so here I have this really cool design I made up. <clears throat> and I've talked about using the grid method, but I think on video when I went to do it, I got caught in a wild tangent and just took off and did something else. So I want to show you how to do this. I'm going to make up two more pages here. Okay, so I'm going to go in and grab it. Which one? Yep, that's this one. Let me pull this off. I'll delete that. Okay, so you want to make up something that is wider or longer or both than our scan and cut mats. So we're going to take it to about right there and we'll bring it down to 18 inches. And you can go to 20, whatever. Okay, this is the technique that you're going to use though. Okay. It's the grid method is what I refer to it as. Actually, let me back it up here just a bit. Okay, that's good. Right here is the knife tool. Just press and hold. You can press and hold longer and that brings up the crop tool. But I just want the knife. Let me bring this down here just like that. Okay, so I'm going to put it on about the 11 inch mark. And you can see down here, watch that. Okay, 11 inches. I'm going to come. Okay, so I just, I'm pressing and holding. So I still have a hold of the left mouse button. Now I'm releasing it. Okay, so technically that should have cut it. Sometimes you got to do it twice. So don't be alarmed if it doesn't work the first time. Okay, so that, yep, and this, you see how I'm telling, how I can tell? Just that half of the, just this side of the uh, image is lighting up. So I'm going to put this at just a little over 11. Go down, yep. Okay, so now I'm going to send this to the page to page four okay so before I leave I need to group this one object group okay and this is on my 24 inch scan and cut mat which as you see is 11.65 by 23.74 so our mats are not a true 12 by 24 that really helps. Do not resize this. Once you have them separated, don't do a gen and resize it. Because then you have to bring them back together and resize them together. You can lower this, though, to make sure that you're well within uh, your uh, page limits. Okay, so let's come and grab this bad boy. Bring him right across here. Make sure you're well within your page limits, and we're going to bring him down too. Okay, so now we know that they are equal and cut evenly. So when we go to place this, I'm actually going to bring it over because that looks like that's hanging off there a little bit. When we go to place this, we know that it is going to be exact because when we cut it, that is all we did is we took that knife tool, took it right down the center, and cut it and then just moved it to another page, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually export this now because I am going to cut this. So you will see me cut this and you will see me place this as long as I can get the vinyl to stick on my dead gum walls because I have that, like, cement walls. What am I doing? I have no idea. I'm going to put Dragonfly 1. So File, Export. I went and I found my stick. FCM Dragonfly 2. Dragonfly 2. Okay. Alright, so that's already on my stick. I have that new um, Square One printable vinyl. Um, so I'm going to actually try to be using that stuff when I do this. So it'll be interesting. Um, 
I don't think I'm going to print this because I don't have a sheet big enough. Um, but they do have some uh, other, uh, the repositionable sheets and uh, the permanent sheets. Um, and Doug, upon talking with him, said that the repositionable stuff um, actually takes a little bit of practice um, that really only people with a, a little bit of experience, some actual know-how using vinyl, um, should use this stuff. So when you see me using it today, I'll go into uh, talking about it and how difficult it is, okay? Um, but he really wanted me to talk about that so that nobody gets into it and does it without knowing ahead of time that you may run into issues with it um, if you're not experienced using vinyl. Okay, guys? All right, so that is step one of how to create an object larger than our mat size. Um, so then you'll see me put it together on the video aspect of it. All right, guys, if you have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Um, I'll label this so you can easily find part two of the camera work. Thanks, guys.